Hello everyone, welcome to the video on thrombolytics which are also known as fibrinolytic. These agents will break down the formed thrombus. Now thrombus is strengthened by fibrin. Fibrin ties all the platelets together. And this fibrin is degraded by tissue plasminogen. Now what happens is this tissue plasminogen is activated to the form plasmin and this plasmin will break down or degrade fibrin. Now these agents will activate tissue plasminogen conversion to plasmin so that fibrin degradation occurs. This is my YouTube video channel. If you like the video content, do subscribe and share. Let's get into the topic. So thrombolytics are also known as clot busters because that break up the clots. See these yellow threads are made up of fibrin. Now this fibrin is degraded by plasmin. So these agents will enhance the formation of plasmin which breaks up fibrin and dissolves clot. Now these are used in short term emergency management of thrombotic conditions like myocardial infraction which may finally lead to heart attack, pulmonary embolism, ischemic stroke and thrombosis which is occurred due to the stent implantation. When metal stent is implanted that may activate thrombosis that can be dissolved by using thrombolytics. Now thrombolytics we have two major classes are there. One plasminogen activator a recombinant products. The other one is streptokinase. This enzyme is of bacterial origin. They are used intravenously for short term emergency treatment of <coughs> all these coronary thrombosis like myocardial infraction, deep venous thrombosis, pulmonary embolism and ischemic stroke. Now how do they act? Streptokinase it forms a complex with plasminogen. The complex formation causes a conformational change which enhances the conversion of plasminogen to plasmin and plasmin immediately converts fibrin to its degraded products. Whereas the other agents, the plasminogen recombinant tissue plasminogen derivatives like atiplase, raltiplase, all of them, they enhance the conversion of plasminogen to plasmin directly and cause fibrin degradation. This is how both of them act. Now, <clears throat> so these uh, tissue plasminogen activator are enzymes like atiplase, retiplase, tenecteplase. They are derived from tissue plasminogen activator through recombinant DNA technology. They act locally at clot site. When you see the mechanism, see, uh, all these yellow threads are fibrin mesh. On this, plasminogen will, will bind and it is converted to plasmin and this plasmin will break up all these fibrin threads and finally clot will get dissolved. Let us see the individual agents like streptokinase. Now see there is a significance with streptokinase. It acts on both bound and free plasminogen. So it is not clot specific. It is not only acting on clot. It acts on free plasminogen in the blood. And it depletes the circulating plasminogen and factors 5 and 8. Now the problem is it is antigenic because it is from bacterial origin. It is a protein derived from beta hemolytic streptococci. From this bacteria it is derived. So when it is given for the second time it may cause problem. See it may cause problem if recent past use or infection too. If streptococcal infection is there or if recently streptokinase is used it may cause a kind of allergy. So uh, the formed antibodies may decrease the activity. That means whenever this the streptokinase is used body will produce antibodies against this streptokinase. And these antibodies will reduce the effective activity of streptokinase. So the important thing is it is not clot specific. It may cause allergic reactions because of it is of bacterial origin. If second time it is used the activity may decrease because body will produce antibodies against the streptokinase when it is used for the first time. Now the other class retiplase retiplase kind of thing they are clot specific. They act mainly on fibrin bound plasminogen. They are natural activators, so no allergic problems are found. This, these are all the two major classes of agents which are acting as thrombolytics <coughs> or fibrinolytics. Now, the major problem with fibrinolytics is the major side effect is severe bleeding. Severe bleeding. Because the clot formation is impaired, it will cause in severe cases, severe bleeding will be there. In such cases, it is treated with aminocaproic acid. Now aminocaproic acid will inhibit the inhibit plasminogen as well as plasmin activities. So clot formation will be there. So the bleeding will be controlled. So this is how aminocaproic acid is used. It's a kind of antidote in case of overdoses of thrombolytics or fibrinolytics. 
If at all amino caprylic acid fails, platelets or coagulation factors must be intravenously given. So they are obtained from fresh frozen plasma. So this is the treatment in case of severe bleeding. So this is about thrombolytic or fibrinolytic. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, do subscribe and share.